18th of December 2018, Tuesday. This, this is, is a male neutered miniature schnauzer, not how old? Probably 11 12. Yeah, sure. It's, it has a long history of skin, skin disease and uh, started four years ago. At that time, we, we didn't do any uh, allergy test, so we did, uh, I think we did the uh, usual antibiotics shaving, peeping board, and antifungus, and the yeast. Then, with some uh, steroids as well. Then after that, it did recover a bit. And as far as he was on medication, uh, he was fine. Uh, that's the history of dogs on steroid then. But when he was uh, off the medication, uh, that's when the itchy and the flaking of the skin started again. Mm. So, we did the allergy test uh, on uh, recently. Uh, so this allergy test, it, it, using the blood, taking the blood test, uh, shows that this dog is actually allergic. We are talking about the, of the meat. Huh? The meat is here: beef, pork, venison, and turkey. I would say turkey, which the owner had been feeding some from the dog food as well. Huh? Where's the turkey? Uh, turkey will be here, turkey is here and also fish so actually practically this dog can't, can't uh, eat any of the common food found, found in the the meat found in the dog food and the, the home cooked food so now from this allergy test we can uh, stop feeding all those uh, meat like beef, pork, venison, of course the turkey yeah? and uh, the fish also, fish, also any, any type of fish, duck as well. So the owner has been, uh, has stopped, uh, stopped feeding all this meat except chicken and rice and what carrots and broccoli right? Broccoli. broccoli. And that was when? Two weeks ago or three weeks ago? No, six months ago. Six months ago. Eight, six to eight months ago. Six to eight months ago. Then what happened? Was the was the skin disease much better or you still have? It was better. Better the hair. It was a slight improvement, but it was still flaking and flaking on which side? The on the butt area. On the back side. Yeah, yeah, and the paws. And the hair all gone, right? No hair, right? Yeah, it was he was bite constantly biting the paws. How about the belly, the stomach area? The belly area as well. Mm. Now I will just uh, put on the muzzle first and, and check his uh, inner, inner glands. Uh. Okay, we close. Now for, for many dogs, the, the skin disease sometimes comes from, of course, allergies to dog food. And uh, the, other, the other reason will be the ears. Uh, because they have very back infection of the ears and so they keep on scratching the neck both ears huh? and, and you can see that at, at one time probably here is hairless right they keep scratching here yeah. until here non-stop so the more they scratch then the, the more uh, ulcerated the skin is not only here sometimes they scratch here so and then they will bite the, this part huh? Or they use the leg to. Does she do that now? Does she do no, that? No, not so much. To stretch uh, until the whole, whole side is really hairless. And that will affect the paw as well because of the friction. Friction, so both parts also affected. So the dog bites the paw, bites here. And uh, in this dog, the back you can see uh, is hairless as well. It's been going on for a long time. So many of these, these uh, causes are uh, actually start with the ear. The ear is very, uh, as you can see, very infected. Normally the dog's ear is, has no black pigments. Uh. You can see the whole thing is pigmented. This shows that the ear infection has been going on for many, a long time, many years. You see this side as well, come, come this side. You have to go that side. But then they meet turning the dog. This side is also the same, you see there? Pigmented. Now, about four years ago, there was a surgery called lateral ear canal 
resection whereby the side wall the side wall is cut off uh, removed so that's why you can see that uh, it's hurting. okay it's painful here that, uh, that there is an opening so that it won't trap the won't trap the water and uh, provide ventilation when the side wall is cut off see this side this side better now unfortunately it is over, huh? unfortunately because the owner has has uh, not known about this operation I guess so when the operation is done the, the ear canal was already badly infected I'm talking about the horizontal ear canal this is the vertical and uh, so in these such cases, although lateral ear canal refection does help, but uh, they still need to be regular or weekly maintenance of the horizontal ear canal. Now the ear canal of the dog, I will show here, is actually, it's actually a horizontal end and the vertical ear canal. Now this part was opened up, yeah, this part. The wall huh, is cut off, but there's still a horizontal canal here. Now this is one which now we see on the left ear. There's pus coming out, so there's some dirt here, some infection here. Now for both ears, most likely, as far as the vertical canal is concerned, this is good. Huh, that the problem is no more there. Now this part. Because the dog does not cooperate with the owner, so it's very difficult for the owner to maintain it. To maintain means to clean up the inside, eh, the horizontal, horizontal canal, which is not a very long canal, it's about one centimeter long. So she, she needs to clean up and apply the ear ointment, but it's not possible here. So, so there is the situation of the dog starting to scratch. So the dog starts to scratch. Sometimes we mistake, mistaken it for for the skin disease, but actually it's the ear, the horizontal ear canal. Now, this, this side will show that the, then it's a better, better illustration. Now you see, the horizontal ear canal is not as long as the vertical, but that depends on the dog. But uh, it's quite, quite a long one. Huh? The eardrum will be here. So, that's why this dog is very worried that we touch his ear. So, I'm going to sedate him and try and clean up this part horizontal ear canal now other than that the, the owner has already stopped the the feeding the allergic meat huh? so you can see that six months later yeah, about six to eight months yeah. but you can see the hair grows back but uh, not 100 percent now last two two weeks ago we did recommend Apoquel, which is quite a recent drug, has a has a substitute for for the steroids, huh? Because this drug is not steroidal, so it doesn't cause thirst, thirsty, or cause hunger, and also suppress the immune system as much as steroids. Huh? This one, so it's not very hungry, right? No, no hunger for the past two weeks. Huh? and also no, not thirsty, right? Yeah. Uh, because when the dog is hungry and thirsty, especially thirsty, it, it keeps going to the toilet. So which the owner doesn't like much because sometimes they cannot control the bladder. So now what we are, we are, now the owner comes back because after quail has been completed for two weeks, huh? and it was two weeks without, without it, right? Yes. Without after quail. So the owner f uh, finds that the dog is itchy somewhere some very slight like scratching of the slight biting of the paws biting of the paw the which one she doesn't know I suspect this one so you can see the saliva stain you see the back paw now the back paw come beside this although the dog can't talk but we can see uh, there this part you can see that these are a bit darker compared to the front you see the front there's no no saliva stain no saliva stain. Huh? So, so in uh, in uh, from observation, it's actually 
most likely the, the ear is the cause of the trouble. The dog must have been trying to scratch again the lower part here or this part. So causing friction and you can see that the dog has probably been licking it here. But the problem is not the return of the skin disease. And so we still need to do this. And the inner sac has she been biting his backside? He doesn't normally bite the backside, but he doesn't touch it. Let me touch his back either. He's been licking his underside. Yeah. So, so these are these two big, uh, major, major uh, irritation, I would call that. So what we are going to do is to sedate and clean up the horizontal ear canals and check the inner sac whether it's impacted with oil or not. And other than that, I would say that uh, he has improved a lot. Not only on Outlook 12, but he was on antifungus as well, and he is and he was given a bit of a steroid early on. That means it was uh, about four weeks ago, a, a small amount. So now we shall continue with uh, the, the treatment of the ears and the inner sac. Okay.